All right, it's the beginning of the year, and you're looking at getting your students' emails from PowerSchool into Google Contacts. It's a pretty simple process of a couple clicks. Let's get to it. Okay, let's get to it. First thing I want to go over quickly is just what you're going to need to do this whole process of getting the student emails into your Google account. You need to be logging into PowerSchool. We're going to be using uh, PowerSchool here to get our data. And you're going to be wanting to get yourself into Google Contacts. We're going to be using that to upload the data. And you're going to need some kind of software such as uh, Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel um, to be able to um, play with that data once you've downloaded it. Okay, those are the three things you need. PowerSchool, Google Contacts, and Microsoft Excel. Once you're all set up, what you're going to be doing is once you're in PowerSchool, what you want to be looking for is you're just going to be going to the first login page, the same page where you would be going to do attendance. And you're going to be looking over here in this far right hand co column, you're going to be looking for the printer. Okay, I'll just use this first example here, this first uh, class I have. Once you click on that, you're presented with this page. And what you want to be looking for is right in the center here, this um, download link that says download this class for import into Google Contacts. So go ahead, just click on that and download that. That will download a file, relatively small file, but it's a CSV file. So CSV files, you're going to need spreadsheet software to be able to play with that data. Once it's downloaded, just double click on that if you're in the Google browser, and that should automatically open up your Excel. I'm using an older version of Excel, but regardless of the version, it'll still be acting the same. Okay, so we're presented with a ton of data here for our class, the students' names as well as their emails. What I want to be focusing on here is column G, okay? So I'm just going to double click on that column. And what I want really is I just want this list of students' emails. And I want to import that along with their names over here into my Google Contacts. The rest of the info that's presented here, I do not want. I don't want the student's phone number or their address, any of that, and I don't want their parents' um, emails either. If I need to contact a parent, I can just simply log into PowerSchool and get their um, email that way. I don't want this into my contacts, okay? So step one is what you wanna do is just delete the data that you don't want. So I suggest first finding where you see that first uh, parents column where it starts showing the parents. And I'm just simply gonna go here and I'm gonna select all those rows. I don't want any of that parent info. And I'm just gonna right click or two finger click on one of the columns and I'm just gonna select delete. Boom, all the parents data is gone. The next step is very similar. I want to get rid of all of the students' information in terms of their home address and phone number. I don't need any of that. So I'm just gonna hit, uh, click on the column header for H over here, hold shift, and then I'm going to click on column header of Q. That selects the whole entire uh, section there. And then again, right click on a PC or a two finger click on a Mac, and then just go down and hit delete. Boom, all that useful information, goodbye. All right, now other information I don't want. I don't need this column here, group. I don't need any of that, so I'm gonna select that, delete that, goodbye. And this one here for birthday, that's up to you whether you want to be reminded where that birthday is for that student, if you want that. Um, if you don't, PowerSchool also, as you know, when you're doing attendance, gives you a little birthday candle appearing there every now and then, telling you uh, that student's birthday is coming up. For me personally, I'm just gonna keep that birthday um, in there. And that's it, I've deleted all the data and my worksheet here, my spreadsheet is just simply ready for upload into Google Contacts. So I'm just gonna hit um, Control S and save it, yeah, just hit answer yes. And if you're on the uh, Mac, you would just be, you know, office button save or file save on the top. Close that file, it might ask you to save again, just hit yes and save it, close it up. Okay, I'm just gonna save that here. Yeah, it's okay, I'll be replacing it. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So, once I've done with all that, what I wanna be getting over to is Google Contacts. Once you have Google T Contacts open, we're going to be uploading that CSV file. So I'm gonna come over here in my menu, and I'm going to be looking for, over here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna be looking for import, okay? If you don't see import, it's hidden behind this column here for uh, this option for import. So just click on that to expand, click on import, and in the box that opens up, 
click on select file and then just navigate to where that file is located on your computer you can see I have mine right here and as you can see I've done this a few times I got a couple imports here so I'm just gonna select that file that's the file I was last working on select that you can see the name is there and I click on import take a few moments here to import and you see BAM there's my whole class with just their email and name and that birthday information okay here's the cool part over here in your left hand column it says you know imported on and here's the date the date that I'm uh, filming this right now and what you can do is just click on the little pencil and then now you can rename this as the class that you had um, imported as so this is my AP computer science a class on uh, day B so I'm just gonna go APCS a B okay that'll be my B period class okay and then just simply hit enter or okay and you'll see what ends up happening is that my um, I've created a label here inside my contact so the beauty of this is if I switch over to uh, mail that also carries over into my Google Mail. And if I write an email now, if I sit, sit here and I hit compose, okay, Google will load here a second. Okay, let's make that big screen. If I hit compose, and who am I sending this to? If I start writing an APCS, there it is. There's that whole class list that I just made. I can just simply click on that and bam, all those students are added. And now I can say a message. Here is a message and I can write up my email. Okay, so that's how we get our students' emails into uh, Google. So one more time, what did we do? We first logged into PowerSchool, went over here, clicked on the printer, downloaded the CSV file, edited it inside a spreadsheet software, uploaded it into Google Contacts, and then changed its name to a label we can recognize and use inside our mail. And that's it. That's how you get your students' emails into your Google email account. All right, have a good one. If you have any further questions, as always, come see me in my room or drop me a note. I'd love to hear from you. Have a good one.